I won't give up. Howdy gamers, old gamer guy here. I'm a little bit late to this party, but I finally picked up Returnal on sale just before the holidays, and I got started on it on New Year's Day. So I thought I'd make a quick video basically saying Happy New Year's to everyone and uh, show off the game a little bit. This is about three hours or so into the game, and I've unlocked a few things, including this, this little obelisk that will give you a random item if you give it some ether, which is one of the currencies in the game. But if you haven't heard of this game, it is a third-person sci-fi shooter, and there's platforming involved, a lot of action. But uh, the idea is that this scout has crash-landed on this planet, and they were following a signal so when you crash you still have the signal and you're trying to reach the source of the signal but this is a very hostile world you will die a lot and every time you die the planet sort of rearranges itself I've actually been in this room before and I activated these holograms it's kind of a historical archive I guess and there's a box down there at the bottom of the room I could go check out, but I think I'll just move on into this next area. It says, another suit signal detected. And we'll get back to that in a minute because we're going to have our first combat. So I'm already hurt very badly. Uh, every time you die, you wake up back at your ship as if you just crashed your ship again. Uh, you retain some permanent upgrades, but you start with your pistol every time uh, when you wake up next to your ship. So this is just the default pistol I've got here. I have not found another weapon. That cannon in the other room has a shield around it. And I'm not sure if my energy sword melee weapon will work on that shield. I haven't tried it, but it might because it's a red energy field. And uh, there are some red energy fields over doorways that I can destroy now because of that energy sword that I unlocked. You can see that picking up these green items is recharging my suit integrity down there in the lower left hand corner. And I've got sort of a danger indicator. That purplish light is like danger in this direction. I don't think it's always there, so I think maybe I unlocked that. I don't remember. It may have been there in the very beginning. <laughs> I really don't remember. So much has happened since I crashed on this world. But going back into this other room, uh, if you remember when we walked in here, it said that there was a suit signal detected. And here is a dead body. This dead body is actually my same character here. The character's name is Celine, by the way. But all of these dead bodies are her. And these sort of function like the blood stains in the Souls games. Uh, this is the last moments of life for another player. And now I have to fight this creature. So this doesn't always happen. Sometimes when you check out those dead bodies, 
uh, it will give you a choice about whether you want to avenge that player or not. But for some reason, sometimes the combat will automatically happen. I don't really know what causes that. This is a game that doesn't exactly explain everything to you. You just kind of have to figure things out on your own, which I like. It's a, a nice sci-fi setting and a nice sci-fi presentation and story and uh, <laughs> just, just, this is just really good sci-fi and I like sci-fi. So I found this little room here off to the side and it's very lucky because this machine will actually repair my suit integrity and this room won't always be here. Like I said, the world kind of shuffles itself around every time you die. So you won't always find this room. But that was early on in that life. So we're skipping forward. And at this point, you can see I've covered a lot more of the map. You can see a lot of icons. Uh, I'm obviously not explaining everything about this game. There's just too much about it <laughs> to show probably in one short video. But we are now getting to where I am going to die. So you'll get to see me die and then uh, respawn next to the ship again. But first we're going to have a little bit more combat. I guess this would be like a mini boss battle and it takes place over three phases and this is actually the first time I've seen one of these battles go more than one phase. Uh, I've been in a boss battle that was three phases but usually this is just kind of your typical battle uh, but this one ended up being three phases long and it did not go well for Selene. But I'm going to shut up and let this battle play out for a little while because this game, uh, one of the things about this game is that it really, really sounds phenomenal. Uh, there are only a few games that take advantage of PS5's 3D audio. Uh, Demon Souls, which also sounds phenomenal. And the Ratchet and Clank game, which I have not gotten yet. I plan to get it, but I have not gotten it yet. And this game also sounds just amazing in 3D sound. Uh, so let's listen to this play out for a while and uh, I'll shut up. Once again, I think the battle is over, so I stop to pick up an item that I then forget to use. This would have given me a shield. It might have helped me survive a little bit longer, but I forgot to use it. Yeah, I could have used a shield right there. Then I might have survived that hit. <laughs> but Celine is dead once again. She is crashing once again. 
Uh, she has different colored eyes, which is interesting. I don't know what that means. Sometimes she regains consciousness outside the ship, and sometimes she regains consciousness inside the ship. So I don't know what that means either. But regardless, she is alive again. The mini-map has been wiped clean, and we are ready to begin a new life. So that will about do it for this video. I mainly wanted to say Happy New Year and show off this game a little bit because I really am enjoying it a lot. I obviously have not shown very much detail, so if you are interested in more detail, let me know because this game is a lot of fun to play and it's very nice to look at, so I don't mind making more videos. Before we wrap it up completely, I just want to point out that this room looks very different from the room that I entered at 55 seconds into this video because, like I've said several times, the planet shuffles itself around. Just wanted to point that out one more time. As always, thanks very much for watching.